Let's use Newton's third law to make a foam ball cannon. In order to make a cannon that shoots six inch foam balls, this is what Dr. Smith is using. A five foot long and four inch inner diameter PVC pipe. And you can use either an end cap or an adapter with a screw cap. Dr. Smith prefers the screw cap because it allows access to inside the cannon for cleaning and drying purposes. It also lets you rapidly air out the cannon between firings. Dr. Smith is working in a well-ventilated area because the fumes from the PVC primer and cement are quite strong. Dr. Smith is being sure to follow the instructions closely on applying the primer and cement to the pipe and adapter. He is now going to drill a hole roughly 12 inches from the adapter. The size of the hole matches the size of the barbecue lighter that he is going to use to ignite the vapors in the cannon. When complete, he is going to let the cannon set and ventilate overnight as a precaution. Now it's time to fire the cannon. Dr. Smith is putting a pipette full of denatured ethanol in the mouth of the cannon and quickly inserting the foam ball to trap the explosive vapors. You can also try using isopropanol. He is now adding the same amount of fuel through the ignition hole of the cannon. He is spinning the cannon around to help spread the fuel around and get it all vaporized inside the cannon. It is best to wait a couple minutes to ensure all the fuel is vaporized. If you use isopropanol or rubbing alcohol, you may want to wait a little bit longer. Dr. Smith is making sure the cannon is well secured and not going to hit anyone. When he pulls the trigger on the barbecue lighter, the volatile fumes inside the cannon will ignite and greatly expand, blowing out the foam ball from the cannon.